you know i know south africa to be a questioning nation but this time around i can't hide my disgust my disgust when did south africa stop to be a questioning nation eh? we have been told by authorities government officials information coming from top bottom nobody's questioning anymore i understand that there is uh, this nonsensical disaster uh, management act or whatever act that they're using you know and showing in front of our faces all the time that they're going to arrest us for fake news but you've got a right to ask questions this is our country it doesn't belong to the anc this is our country now when it comes to the lockdowns all of a sudden we are locked down no freedom of movement you can't ask questions fear is being used you know we are told of this epidemic pandemic was there an epidemic in south africa i mean we've seen diseases ravaging ravaging african people but all of a sudden there's a shutdown you ask yourself the purpose of this shutdown it's for what the purpose of this shutdown is for what hmm? if numbers and bodies people are still being infected we are told that every day the numbers are skyrocketing yet we are under a shutdown and the shutdown is for what this shutdown was never research does it mean that after a shutdown the numbers will go down what if the numbers are not going down there's so many stories about this coronavirus we are not being told unfortunately here on tv we keep on seeing about big the thieves people who are involved in corruption we see Mickey Mouse's like Amomba Lul, even doctors, medical doctors, like Abu Aaron Mutualid, Abu Zulim Keys, they're now talking nonsense. I mean, with my layman's, layman's education or standards, I know, man, unless something has changed in the medical world, we used to be told that the virus cannot exist outside human cells or a body. All of a sudden, we've got a virus. We've got a virus that can live for 12 hours outside human body. All of a sudden, this virus doesn't die. You know, we've got a bodybuilder of a virus on steroids. You can't ask questions. with can no man we're being bullshitted we hear stories outside i don't know how true is this that if you die of something else be high blood diabetes as long as you tested positive for corona your death will be certified as corona related how's that so eh? all of a sudden in south africa we don't have flu People are not dying from other diseases. We hear that the numbers are going up. Even if those numbers were going up, do they justify the 100% lockdown? Hmm? You must question. On TV, you don't see doctors. We see politicians. No. And these celebrities who are coming out, you know, spreading the message of fear that guys stay at home, it's dangerous. But funny, their recovery process is 100%. There's a grandchild of Mandela, he was on TV being shown that he's got corona, corona. All of a sudden, he says he's healed. He's only shown on Twitter. But Prince Charles, the British Prime Minister, hmm? Boris Johnson, there are many celebrities who are just alb. When they come out with no, they've got corona, they're plastered all over our screens. But all of a Sunday, when they are healed, 
Nobody's telling us how they achieved such miracles. And you are told that there is no cure. We want to know. Bring them again on TV so that they can tell us how did they beat this virus that we're told that this virus it lives on clothes, on metals. 12 to 24 hours, it doesn't die. They must come and tell us. Isn't it a miracle? The churches are closed. Everyone under lockdown. Yet you've got people who are surviving these viruses. And they're not being interviewed by the mainstream media. How odd. No. We need to see them. I'm told that the recovery process or the failure rate of corona is very high. People survive this corona thing. But the numbers stay there, even in Italy. The numbers don't go down. You can have 20,000 people infected and 17,000 recovering, but the numbers will stay there, 20 infected. What nonsense is that? No, and our government must tell us something. There are things that don't make sense here. Some talk of 5G technology. I don't know much about that. I think they must also invite scientists. And not only their stooges, because I know that they can invite their stooges. We need leadership in these fields. You are told that you must test. And they are telling us that they don't have a cure, but we must test. And for what? Test for what? Some say, no, you are testing because you don't want to prevent or you don't want to infect others. What nonsense is that? I'm testing so that I don't infect others. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. And I'm surprised. Even the educated doctors, lawyers, teachers, they are quiet, Bob. They're quiet. Hmm? Maybe people are enjoying to stay at home because they say two million South Africans are employed by the government, so any holiday will do. But there are those who will never come back from these lockdowns. That has never been scientifically proven to be a cure. In all the countries where they have locked down, we don't see positive results today. People are said to be beating this virus, but we are not told or they are not brought forward. What is happening? You hear different stories, and our government, they've disappeared. I don't know what to do. is a doctor. Hey, by the way, I don't know what to do. If you are listening, you once spoke of a, a secret society that was trying to pressurize you so that you can buy medicine from them. You spoke about these guys. I don't know whether you said they were from America. I can't remember clearly. But I know that later on you denied that when I asked you, I asked you personally, but I heard you on the radio. If someone has that clip, please bring it on. You once spoke of the secret society in the medical world. You said they were pressurizing you. They told you straight upward that you're gonna procure medicine pharmaceutical products from them or else. That's what you said, Aaron Mutualid. You've got doctors. I was with him, Keys, I was Ah, Kabazel. You know, I was with him, Kabazel. We are, man. No, man. No, man, guys. No, 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 no. All of a sudden, this corona is equal death sentence. I mean, I've read and I've seen, even on social media, I know they'll dismiss social media, these so-called mainstream media. But a 96-year-old World War veteran is recovered from corona. Why is it that this corona is pushed as if it's death sentence and is declared a pandemic? Even though the numbers in South Africa are affected by this, are so low, 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 they're not even 1%. I doubt worldwide that the numbers even make up to 3% or 2%. Yes. Yes, if it's flu-like virus, common sense tells me, I mean, like flu, you know, it will spread. But there's a failure rate to this corona. And by the way, I think there are more people suffering from flu. But you won't see them now. There are more people suffering from flu than this virus. There are more people, HIV, 
infected than this virus, people suffering from malaria than this coronavirus, but you won't see them anymore. All the dead now, they're going to be corona-related. I'm sure even if I'm hit by a bus in a car accident or motor vehicle accident, as long as I have tested for corona, they're going to say corona-related. No, man, we need leadership in this field. We're tired of seeing political analysts, journalists on TV. And I know that our mainstream media is useless, very useless. They report the official uh, narrative. They don't do investigative journalism. Yeah, we need leadership in this field. We need leadership. We're tired of the same old view, same old view. No. Something is not on here. Something is not on here. There's so many stories about this corona. We don't get answers. We see Mickey Mouse is on TV, Bomba Lula. The Minister of Justice, Mr. Big, our president, is following that one. I was surreal. But you need leadership in this field. You cannot be intimidated. We need to ask questions. What is happening in 5G? We need to ask what is happening in Rama, Posa, and Motsipe. Yeah. Do we have a president in law in this country? Or a president brother in law in this country, running this country. We hear stories about Billy Gator. We see Twitters. Bosen Ramaphosa thanking about Billy Gator. And here's Billy Gator this side is saying vaccine first before the upliftment of a lockdown. We hear stories eh, about Bill Gates advising. But World Health Organization, they say no, don't lift up the the prison or don't lift up this lockdown hmm? they say they must vaccine us first we hear stories about this vaccine there is no leadership they are no journalists asking questions hmm? what's happening what's wrong no man no more something is not right there. something is not right there it's not right we need to ask questions, and you cannot be intimidated by this disaster act and stuff. And I'm surprised, South Africans, they are quiet. No one is asking questions. Everybody says, yo, aren't you afraid? Aren't you afraid? Since when? Since when? Yeah? And there's something very fun. When politicians are in the streets and soldiers, something special, something special just happens. This corona disappears. Hmm? This corona disappears. When taxi drivers, essential workers are out there, this corona disappears. It's only against us. When Ramaphosa is somewhere without a mask, there is no corona. When Bombalula, Galavanting, Bondabin, Galavanting, all over, there is no corona. No, man. No, man. We start hearing stories overseas that these numbers have been pushed. You know, just like we had when this thing started, we had two there, four there. Why are we not told about the death rates vis-a-vis -vis last year and now that there is corona and the people who have recovered from corona, how many are they vis-a-vis -vis the numbers? You can't tell us that 20,000 people or 2,000 are infected. How many recovered? Where are they? What did they do to recover? What is it that they eat? Hmm? Do they bath in special water? I need to say there's no cure. No woman dead. And I know who Vavi. Zulinzima Vavi won't die. Go to him and ask him, how did you survive? Hmm? Mr. Peak must ask his British Prime Minister counterpart, why is he still alive? Prince Charles, why is he still alive? Hmm? Address Alp. Why is it still alive? Many, many, many people are surviving this thing, but it's pushed out there as if, no, it is Alpha and Omega. We're going down. There's no hope. Even churches are closing. Pastors running away. Bombo running away. Yeah? Running away. Fake pastors running away. Hmm? Everything suspended. Weddings, everything. 
Don't you think that if something has that impact, we deserve to know from those people who have recovered? Where are they? We sing about Peggy Taylor. Thieves, thieves. A corrupt failure. A corrupt failure. Ah, yeah.